doing his diving helmet. No hair combing for Greg, he has better things to do. A very small one that doesn't bark at fish. He's not cold, he's a vibrating dog anyway. There's my mother hooking the little hook on the helmets to lift the helmets off. She was my favorite helmet diver. But I'm afraid she's not helmet diving anymore. She died at 86. She's up in helmet diver heaven. All right, there's Greg and his grandmother. He didn't even give his grandmother a chance to change her clothes, made her go down fully dressed. Barely gave her a chance to get rid of her wallet and watch. Okay, grandmother and grandson. Harry likes mother, likes the way she touches him. Two good friends. There's Greg, light in his window. He doesn't mind, that's showbiz anyway. We'll promise you more fish than you imagine ever existed. Those yellowtails are kind of upstaging Harry the grouper a bit. He can handle it though. Greg was almost born under sea, pretty close to it. Okay, up the ladder we walk. Here's Greg in his little rowboat on a Sunday afternoon. Guess why the rowboat is moving? Well, you don't have to guess in our family. It's his older brother, Chris, walking along the sea floor, pulling him along with a piece of string. Now, maybe you send your children out to play in the traffic. We don't. We send ours out to play in the dangerous deep water. Notice how dangerous and deep. Now Greg is going under the sea to show us all the episode of the seahorses. Gregory has a very keen eye. You can find the seahorse almost anywhere. He's just successfully captured a pregnant male seahorse, so he mercifully took it right straight home, put it in his little aquarium, and at six o'clock that night, Father Seahorse had 400 babies. Isn't that a mess? Here's the way the whole thing works. Father Seahorse has a pouch just about where a kangaroo has hers. Mother Seahorse has a funny-looking seahorse egg-laying tube and she injects all the eggs in father's pouch. After 30 days, there's a wild explosion of little seahorses from dad, 30 at a time. It's rather a strenuous episode for the master of the house. There's an egg that didn't hatch. That little black dot you see floating down to the bottom is one seahorse egg that failed to turn into a seahorse. Not a bad average out of the 400 you see swarming on the surface. Now he's trying for 401. He was not notified about that egg that didn't hatch. Now he's trying for 401. He wasn't notified about the egg that didn't hatch. Now he has a babysitting job. He can't get out of it. He did it. Mother left a month ago to find another boy seahorse with an empty pouch. Here's the girl with a fancy hairdo. Said she would never go near the water while she was here in the island because of the hair. Well, there she's on the ladder, and that hairdo is immaculate on the bottom of the sea. She's there to see the feeding of the corals, the breathing of the sponge, the feeding of that insatiable sea anemone, and all the other wonderful animals, the beautiful fish we have in the tropical seas. Back to the ladder, climb up the ladder, reach the top. Hairdo is just fine. <laughs>